Hello and welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Susie Neal. And I'm Clark Neal. And together, we're Unicoi Preserves. Today, we're going to be making our recipe for blackened fish tacos with cabbage and apple slaw. We've got all the best ingredients from our local Ingalls. So Clark, let's get started. All right, we've got some beautiful mahi-mahi fillets here. We're gonna show you how to make these in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, we'll also uh, give you some instructions on how you can cook these in the oven, but you might've gotten an air fryer for Christmas and not know what to do with it yet, so here's a great recipe to try it out with. And I love mahi-mahi fillets. We get them at Ingalls in the meat department. I really like them for baking in the oven or in the air fryer because what I've noticed, Clark, is that the fillets are really evenly sliced, and that way the cook is gonna fish all, cook all at the same time. Yeah, and these fillets are beautiful. They come individually wrapped and frozen. You can find them in the seafood case at your local Ingalls. I'm gonna cut these in half lengthwise, just so it gives us more surface area because we're gonna paint these with melted butter and season them with a blackened seasoning. We wanna give more surface area to let that seasoning really get on the fish because it's gotta flavor the whole dish. So we're gonna apply it pretty liberally, but more okay. surface equals more flavor. So okay. Susie's gonna paint these with butter. This is Laura Lynn unsalted butter that I melted in the microwave. So easy, so fast. And this is Cajun seasoning, it's blackening season. Uh, you can use whichever brand you like the best. You can find this on the international aisle where all the ethnic uh, ingredients are. You've got Cajun, Asian, Italian, all kind of different stuff you can find all right there together. But I'm gonna sprinkle this stuff on pretty heavy. Then I'm gonna rotate it, make sure we get it on all sides. You're gonna need some butter on those other sides too. So after you're done sprinkling, there you go. I'll Turn those fishies over. You. We're also gonna show you how to make a wonderful slaw to go as an accompaniment with this. It just so happens to have some of our Unicoi Preserves apple cider pepper spread in the recipe. I've got the, ba the basket out of our air fryer that I've sprayed with Laura Lynn nonstick cooking spray. That's gonna make cleanup super fast and super easy because remember, this is a fast weeknight meal. Those look great, Clark. All right, so we're gonna put these in, your, in our air fryer basket. You don't want them to overlap and you want a little bit of space in between them so that air can circulate all around them and get them nice and crispy. These are going to cook 400 degrees for five minutes or so until they reach at least an internal temperature of 140 degrees. That's when your fish is done. So I went to Ingalls and I picked up a bag of the deli coleslaw mix. I love this because it's like all the prep is already done. You've got cabbage, carrots, and purple carriage. So pretty. Yeah. All right. Watch. I'm going to add some diced apple, some <laughs> chopped cilantro, and some diced jalapeno to this and mix it up. Susie, would you hand me my spatula? I will. <laughs> my spoonula. All right, I'm gonna make the dressing. Laura Lynn mayonnaise into the bowl. A little bit of salt to flavor all those vegetables. And some Unicoi Preserves apple cider pepper spread to give it some sweetness, a little bit of zing. And that's all there is to making the dressing, y'all. So simple. Yep. Oh, Clark, look at how colorful and beautiful that slaw is. Wow. I love it. You get a nice bite from the jalapeno pepper, crispness, and a little bit of sweetness from the apple. It's going to pair well with that Unicoi Preserved apple cider pepper spread. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm going to dress right. this I've out. Got this mixed up well. I'm ready for the dressing. I might should have given you a bigger bowl today, it looks mm. like. <laughs> If I make a mess, somebody else will clean it up. <laughs> but that somebody's gonna be you. It's not gonna be me today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fold this dressing in. We wanna make sure it coats the slaw well. <laughs> Another quick tip, if you don't have an air fryer, you can certainly do this in your oven. Take a sheet pan, line it with foil for easy cleanup, spray it with that same nonstick cooking spray, season it just the way we did, Cook it at 400 degrees, about eight to 10 minutes in the oven. It doesn't cook quite as fast as the air fryer, but uh, until your internal temperature is 140 degrees, then you're safe. And in case you can't remember all that, just visit ingles-markets.com for the complete recipe, printable shopping list, and printable recipe. That looks great, Clark. All right, we got our slaw mixed up. We're gonna wait for the air fryer to get done, and we'll come back and show you how to assemble these tacos. We'll be right back. 
The ding, the air fryer just went off. I think the fish tacos are done. Susie's gonna pull that fish out. Oh, they look beautiful. Oh, Golden, brown, gorgeous. black, and deliciousness. All right. Let me turn this that way so it doesn't burn you. Let me have these tongs. All right. So we're using flour tortillas here. You can use corn if you like. These are the street taco size, which are perfect for one piece of fish. Mm. Put this one piece of fish okay. down. Put some of this wonderful slaw on there. I'm gonna use God's tongs, AKA my fingers. Okay, it looks great. And while Clark's doing that, we've got some key limes from the Ingalls Produce Department. Ingalls has just got the nicest produce. I was so pleased when I saw those little limes. Because if you ever cut a lime, and you don't need the whole thing, it feels so wasteful. But a key lime is just the right size. You get four little wedges, they're just right for our tacos. And those need a little bit of sriracha mayo. All right, and we got a little fresh chopped cilantro here that we're gonna top it. I know we've got a little bit of cilantro in the slaw. When we were shopping the other day and we picked up that blackening season on the international aisle, I was looking at all the Asian stuff and I thought, wow, sriracha mayo, it's a sauce already made just for tacos. <laughs> and it's the perfect application with that squeeze bottle. You just drizzle it right on. Gosh, those look so good and they smell even better. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Make sure you check out the rest of the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.